It's time for you to go to work. And I don't mean some physical job, um, some place of employment for you. When I say it's time for you to go to work, I'm talking specifically about time for you to go to work on yourself. This is something that I had to learn from one of my mentors many years ago. And what he said was, Neil, you're great at what you do. But in order for you to be better, you need to be better. Stop working on your job. Start working on yourself. And so I want to ask a personal question to you. When was the last time you went to work? I'm not talking about the physical location where you go and do whatever task it is that you do. I want to ask, when was the last time you went to work on yourself? When was the last time you went to work on your mental state or on your physical well-being? When was the last time you went to work on your spiritual relationship with God, your father? When was the last time you went to work on your dream, your goal? Because here's what many of us want. Many of us want this idea. We want to experience success professionally in our job, at our work. But the gap is, the challenge is we never do the hard work of going to work on ourselves. And here's why. It is hard work. It is an arduous task to go to work on yourself. And so this is the entire idea that while we want the dreams, while we want the success, the accolades, while we want the finances that come from being a better person, many, many of us don't want to do the hard but necessary work. So as I talk about going to work on yourself, this is the idea of the controller. I want you to decide today to take control. I believe that your future, that your destiny, that the livelihoods and the well-being, not only for yourself, but maybe also for your family, uh, immediate and those generations are to come. I believe that the well-being of your community and your um, environment uh, is dependent upon you taking control. And here's the unfortunate part of you taking control. It is going to require you to do more. It's going to require you to be more, maybe to even sacrifice and to give more that up until this point, you were unwilling to give. So what does it look like to take control? First, ultimate accountability. Are you in a mental state where you can say, you know what, I'm tired of playing the blame game. I'm ready to take control and I am ready to go to work on myself. No longer are we going to give the controller of our lives over to those who might mean well for us, but they don't mean the best for us. Because this is going to require you to throw all of those excuses out of the window. It's going to require us to say, you know what, help is not on the way. We are the help. So as your friend, your mentor, coach, colleague, whatever role that I occupy in your life, I want to give you some challenging um, news that help is not on the way. You are the help. You are the relationship counselor. You are the physician. You are the coach that you've been looking for. You are that person that's going to say, hey, do you need help? Well, let's start right here, right now. So I'm going to encourage you. Well, first, I want to ask you, in what area of your life have you given your controller to someone else? In what area of your finances, your health, your well-being have you said, it's easier for me to let someone else do it for them to take the responsibility? Maybe it is in your physical job. Maybe you said, I don't want to chase this dream. I don't want to go after this thing. It's going to require too much of me. It's easier and safer for me to let them have the control and let me just go through my day and complain and be frustrated and be stressed and, and, and. Well, here's what my ask is of you. As God's creation, as someone who was given a number of skills and talents uniquely to you, I want to ask you, I want to encourage you to take back control. I want you to go to work on yourself. 
because the world does not benefit from you giving the controller of your life over to someone else. So maybe today you've had a number of thoughts in your mind. Well, where should I begin? I just believe in beginning with the thoughts that we have. Do you need to go to work on yourself in the area of the words that you say to yourself, the stories that you are telling yourself? Maybe you need to ask yourself, why do I think the way that I think? Who have I given the controller of my mind over to? Is it going to be someone on YouTube like myself? Is it going to be a family member, friend? Is it going to be social media? Is it going to be that nasty, nagging inner voice that's telling you everything you're not and everything that you cannot have? Well, I want to ask you and encourage you. I want to issue a challenge. Any of those negative thoughts that are coming to you right now. You know, so Jim Rohn always say, whatever threatens you, threaten it back. When was the last time that you went to work on yourself, that you realized that help is not on the way and that you are the final defense? When was the last time that something threatened you? What was your response to that threat? Did you cower? Did you run away? Or did you face it head on and say, wait, I'm not going to let you threaten my future, my destiny, the goals, the dreams, the God-given abilities and talents that I have on the inside. Because something that I learned from my dad many years ago is don't say please to a monster. So when life tries to threaten you, when life wants to take the controller out of your hand, when life wants to push you into a corner and make you complacent and encourage you to say, I'll just wait for help. Be reminded that this is your life, that help is not on the way, that you must make the hard, tough choice to grab the controller back so that you can be, have, and do everything that it is that God wanted for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like it, leave a comment, and let us know in what area of your life are you in need of taking the controller back. I would love to hear from you. I'm sure our other viewers would as well. And then just put, I commit. If you are committed to taking back control of your life, if you commit to doing the hard work, going to work on yourself so that you can live, have, and be everything that you're supposed to be. Remember that I love you. God loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And until the next time I see you or you see me, don't be average, be world renowned. Peace.